Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a 3D building. I learned from a tutorial on the web and from Time Saver Tutorials and I'm going to show you how to do it here. As you can see I've made several buildings and I've just created a little scene. I even bring in a, lot, uh, a street sign from Modo and when I play this you can see it just zooms through the buildings up onto my text there. And I'm going to show you how to build one of these buildings. So you can, of course, it's no substitute for a good 3D application. This is nothing like that at all. But I do want to show you how to do this. So if I go to my perspective view, you can see real good the scene that I got here. Let me zoom in. Now you can see I just got some buildings lined up down through there like that. And we're going to make, let me show you how to make one of these buildings. So let us get a new project okay so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over here to my four point view I want to click this button and go down and select my four points and then I'm going to add a camera this adds my camera and now I can go to perspective mode up here and now you can see I'm in 3D, I'm looking around. Okay? This is my perspective. I'll make this one my top view. I'll make this one my front view. And I'll make this one my right view. Okay. So now let's go to our front view. Let's select our rectangle, shape tab, and let's create a rectangle, draw out a rectangle like this. Now, as you can see in our perspective, it put it right there in front of our camera, okay? Let's open up our layers so we can see what's going on here. Okay, so now we got one rectangle. We need to duplicate this rectangle, so select that rectangle and hit Command D. And as you can see, that will give me a rectangle copy, okay? So now I can go over here to my top view. and I can adjust or rotate by using my top view. So I can go to my inspectors, my inspector and go to the properties, rotation, I'm gonna turn down rotation, and as you can see, you can rotate that one we just made. I'm gonna rotate it to 45 degrees, or 90 degrees, I'm sorry. Rotate it to 90 degrees. And when I do that, you'll see that it's facing in the right direction, but it's turned wrong. So, what we need to do is make sure we turn it in the right direction. Okay, so we just turned it in the Y, and the X is not going to work. So what we want to do is turn it in the Y to 90, not the X like we did before. And now you can see we have this. Okay, so I can take this now and scoot it out by judging, by using my top view in my upper right here, you can see. And when I scoot it over here like this, and move it up like this. Now we have our first two walls of our building as you can see here. Okay, so now we have that one selected. Let's hit Command D and duplicate that as well. Okay, so now we got three. So this time, we're gonna rotate it around the same way. Okay, but I wanna use these viewport handles in the perspective, in the viewer. Okay, so like you can see, I touch this one, it rotates that way, this one that way, and the greens this way. So we wanna go in the green, okay? So this time, hold the shift key when you go to turn it. If you hold the shift key and click and turn, it will turn in 45 degree increments. So watch up here in my top view, you can see it's turning, Turn it on around. To 90 degrees. Snap. Now you can see it's flat there. And of course we can set this in the right position. Like so. Okay. 
Okay, now that's that. Let's zoom around here and look. So you can see we've got three walls. Okay. Now they don't have to be perfect. It's not a big deal. So now we got our third wall there. We need to bring it in a little bit. There's a little gap. Now we have our third wall. Let's go ahead and duplicate that third wall to make a fourth one by hitting, selecting it and hitting Command D. That will duplicate it. Once again, I'm going to hold the Shift key. I'm going to go in here and spin this. And I'll click it to 45 degree increments, and as you can see up here in the, in the top view, I can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and spin it on around. Like that, and we'll position it by watching my top view. Okay, let's go back to our single view now. By going over here and selecting our single view, we're in perspective mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and select the, our rectangles and let's change the fill color to maybe a, a light gray, like so. Okay, now let's give everything an outline. Okay, so we're going to select them one at a time. We're going to give it an outline, and we're going to make that outline black, okay? And we can up the width a little bit to three or four. And let's go through and do that for every one of them. Outline, we'll make it black. And let's go through the line and do that for all these. Turn your outline on. And now you can see that that kind of helps hide those gaps, okay? So let's go to our top view. So we'll go back to our four view like before, okay? And zoom out here. Okay, now we have our box. Now we need to make a roof for it. So let's go ahead and select our group. Select our rectangle again, and let's go into our top view here, and let's just draw a triangle about the size of the roof. We'll select our shape tool there. And I'll draw one out. about the size of the roof like so I'll make it gray as well okay and we'll give it an outline make it black okay so now let's go adjust our roof here you can see it's down in there, so we need to select it. And we need to pull it up like this. Okay, now we need to make it just a little bigger so she'll fit in there really well. So let's select it. And we'll scale it up by going to properties and we'll scale it up a little bit. And that kind of caps off our roof there. Okay. So now we have this here. So let's select our group. I'm going to go to my opacity and I'm going to turn that opacity down a lot. Not a lot, about halfway so I can see through it. Because we're going to make our windows now. So let's close up that group and make a new one. Okay. Inside this group, let's go to our front view, create a rectangle, and let's draw a little bitty white window like that right there. You can see down here in our view that we have a little bitty window there. And what we need to do with that is replicate it. So let's select our rectangle, go up to replicate, and say hit the replicate button. This will replicate our window as you can see. I'm going to bring it down here 
tighten everything up drag it out to be a little longer position it now we need to make sure that these are right against the side of the building so we can see it even when we turn our opacity back up now we can still see our windows there so let's select our replicator and give it a few more windows we'll go to our replicator tab we'll up the columns and rows. Okay, that looks a lot better. And if you want to, you can give it some color eyes. You can give it a little bit of yellowish tint if you like. Now, not all these windows should be lit at once, and you can do that by randomly filling them like so, you can see, or however you want to do it. You can go around to each side and, and do this. Um, but but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave the whole thing on, okay? Like that. Now we're going to do this, set, put these windows on the other sides, okay? So let's close up our replicator. Make sure our replicator is selected. And hit Command D to duplicate it. Okay, now we have two, two replicators. I'm going to go to my 3D controls. Okay, I'm going to hold the shift key. And I'm going to spin this replicator around 90 degrees. Like before. Okay, now I can adjust this and put it where I need it. That's looking pretty decent right there. Okay. So once again, we're going to duplicate this replicator by hitting Command-D, holding the Shift key, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Holding the Shift key, we'll rotate it in 45 degree increments, so that snaps it to 90 degrees, like so. So now let's adjust this one. Into the right spot. like so. Now we're getting this stylized building. Okay. Now I'm not going to do the last side. You know, I think you all pretty much understand how that's done. Okay. So now we have this stylized building. Let's go to our, back to our building. Let's turn our opacity. It's good. We can, if you want to, you can turn your 3D grid off. Okay. And now, as you can see, we got this, but I'm going to leave it on. Now, as you can see, we got this three-dimensional type building. And you can modify it, adjust it, and add to it however you like. You can add several. You know, make a city block. Make some shorter. Make some taller. Um put some randomness in there. You could fly your camera through a city block if you had to. So this is how you make a building in motion in 3D. Again, this is not a 3D application, but sometimes you might have to do this and not own a 3D application and you might need something like this quick. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.